Hey, what's up? Uh, Piz out here. Um, going to do kind of a um, movie review um, of a film that I just finished watching. And uh, going to do the review now because in approximately 10 minutes I'm going to completely forget everything that happened in this movie. Uh, the movie in question is S. Darko, a Donnie Darko tale. Um, <clears throat> this, of course, is the ill-gotten sequel to uh, Donnie Darko, which uh, was just a big phenomenon when it first came out. I guess it still is. Um, a movie that has been pondered over and opined about, and its meaning has been uh, hypothesized uh, endlessly online. Um, I think there's even a, a cult, the cult of Donnie Darko, that uh, was out there. Um, the original movie, Donnie Darko, of course, is a classic, um, a great film. I love it to death. Um, but there's really no reason to go too in depth about that movie because I'm going to go go ahead and assume that you've already seen that, seen Donnie Darko, and if you haven't, stop the video now and uh, go do that, because it's pretty good. Uh, anyway, S. Darko is the story of Donnie's sister, Samantha, and uh, Dave Chase reprises her role as Samantha Darko, and basically, uh, it's seven years after the uh, tragic circumstances of her brother Donnie's death, in which he was crushed beneath the engine of a plane and uh, her life um, has not turned out so well and uh, basically her and a friend are driving cross country to California for some vague uh, idea that uh, they're going to dance in a club when they get to California because of course if you remember Samantha in the first movie was big into dancing, so she's going to follow her dream and go out to California and dance in a club. Makes perfect sense. Um, along the way, they stop in this, uh, or they're, they're sort of stranded in this desert town where a lot of really weird things are happening. And there's another end-of-the-world prophecy. Um, those jelly orb things come out of people's chests, um, a variation of Frank the Bunny from the original uh, is in, thrown in there, but really that's kind of where the similarities end. I think basically the people who made this movie just said, hey, Donnie Darko was abstract to say the least, and people loved it. So if we just throw a bunch of crazy stuff out there at them and, and, and somehow uh, hodgepodge it all together, maybe they'll think it's cool. Uh, it's not. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's so many sort of plot lines going on here, but really when you think about it, there's really nothing going on. Like all these differing plots just are there as kind of... Um, to mask the fact that there's nothing going on in this movie. There's no ideas in this movie. There's no... There's no redeeming value to this movie. It just is. Um, it's a blatant cash-in. And that's it. Um, Dave Chase uh, gives a good performance. Um, She's grown up very well, let's say. A very pretty girl now. Um, they do have, if you remember, the first, in Donnie Darker, there's a great soundtrack, lots of great music from the 80s. Uh, Tears for Fears, The Church, Duran Duran, stuff like that. There's really only one good song in, in, in Starco, uh, which takes place in the 90s. Um, and a song by the Catherine Wheel called Black Metallic. Um, so those two qualities are really the those two things are really the only redeeming qualities that the movie has. There's a good song in it, and the lead actress is nice to look at. Um, other than that, I mean, the movie's just 
a waste of time, a waste of DVD, a waste of plastic, a waste of paper. Uh, and that's kind of it. I mean, that's what the, the movie is. It's just sort of a waste. It's there for no good reason other than to cash in on Donnie Darko's success. Um, so, don't watch it, I guess. Um, just watch Donnie Darko again and listen to that uh, Tears for Fear song, Head Over Heels, uh, on loop, and just think about uh, time, space, and uh, if you could travel in time, what things would you change? What sacrifices would you make uh, to better uh, not your own life, but those lives around you? Think about that. And uh, just just forget about this. Just pretend this doesn't exist. Um, I really can't think of anything other, any other redeeming qualities to this movie. Uh, Enough said. Don't watch it. Watch Donnie Darko instead. And uh, until next time, peace.